Hey everybody, what is going on? I'm OJFH. I want to welcome you to this video. Um, I apologize because the audio for this episode is messed up. Also, as you see, um, the episode is super long, and that's because it's actually supposed to be two episodes, episode 10 and 11. However, I recorded them back to back, and my microphone was actually really messed up. And so I'm going to let you just hear a sample of, the, of my audio and how bad it actually was. So let me just quickly... Um, Get it there. I think I want to welcome you back to some more Skyrim today. We are going to... So yeah, um, part of that is the fact that my microphone was messed up. Um, and also Skyrim, the game audio, and my microphone are on the same, um, audio, you know, uh, lane, whatever. Um, they're not two different channels. They're in the same channel. And so I can't separate them. But as you see, um, over here, I tried to, uh, edit the audio a little bit to help. I went through a high pa uh, low pass filter and I also threw it through a treble boost and I actually decreased it instead of boosting it. Um, and I also added a de-esser and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I apologize about this. Both episodes are put together. If you guys know a way I can set up my OBS, I, I think I found a way. Um, but I haven't, uh, but I'll do for the future episodes. Also, I have the next couple episodes already recorded and ready to go. Um, it's just the fact that I have to render this out. As you guys see, it's a long episode. It's in 720p. It's 30 FPS. That's just so I can render it fast, get rid of it, because I don't want to look at this episode. It's really embarrassing. It's an abomination. Every 10 episodes, I want to do something special. And so this is the 10th episode, and I apologize that it was so bad. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, like. Um, and I would just say real quick, I'm gonna run down what I do. I return the, the I return the horn of Jurgen Windcaller to um, the Great Beards. Damn, look at that! Look at that! My face. Um, and then I head over to Solitude where I talk to Sol some people in Solitude. We we do watch the intro intro scene of Solitude, in which um, they cut the guy's head off. I talk to Melbourne. I set up everything. I get the fancy clothes so that I can go into the party. And then the next episode um, is when we have uh, what's his face start the distraction, and then we go through all of the the, um, the embassy. We fight everyone. Um, we free uh, the guy, and then we get Melbourne out of there, and then we get the dossiers for them. And and we, I think we we don't quite head back to um, Delphine and all them. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, I apologize. Peace. Hey, everybody. What's going on? I'm Morgan. Thank you. I want to welcome you back to some more Skyrim today. We are going to um, first go to Hyalaska. And we are going to drop out the horn of Jordan Wind Collar. And after that, we're going to head all the way over to Solitude. And I tell you, we're gonna meet with Melbourne or whatever this team's name is. We actually have a level up that we can go ahead and use. So let's go ahead and make our way. Um, we'll fast travel real quick, and we'll fast travel to la 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 the High Alaska real quick. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the series and all that. Um, also be sure to go check out the main channel, the Twitch channel, the Twitter, the Instagram, all that stuff as well. Of course, you gotta, you gotta, you always gotta pick all your stuff, you know. Uh, FOV, we want, uh, 90. Right? Hello? Am I good? Am I FOV 90? I think I might turn my FOV yet. I'm not too sure. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot in store for us today. Um. Okay. Um, who do I got a return to, by the way? Or is it gonna tell me? Oh, he's, he's in here. Okay. He's over this way. Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to drop your pot or break your pot. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wink. <coughs> well done. Yes. You have now passed all the trials. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate the acknowledgement of, time for us to of my power. Formally as Dragonborn. Oh, yes. Here we go. We formally in introduce the Dragonborn. Wait, what, what was that? Something about Dragonborn? Huh? Hi, Lydia. You are looking mighty pretty today. Isn't she looking beautiful? Look at this. Look at her. Looking mighty good. Ready, at least so. Final word of unrelenting force. Down. Which means push. Down. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wood, I will now give you the wisdom.
Lydia, get out the way! What are you we doing? Will... Stand between us and prepare yourself. If you can withstand the unbridled voice of the great Tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Oh, yes! Look at that! It's open to us! Alright, so, not that I really wasn't really open to us, but usually when things like, like for example, I probably go somewhere right now and probably steal some stuff. So let me, let me look at, let me find some of the Like, look, let me, uh, read. Yeah, I'll take that book too. Alright, uh, thank you. Thank you for the service. Thank you for the business. Um, yeah, a lot of times when you get granted access to places, um, you can freely take stuff from, from them. Um, once you become the, um, the, uh, the thing of White Run, you can go through that pretty much most of, uh, White Run, and you can take, like, pretty much anything you want. So we have to go to Shadow Tree, but it's not been discovered yet. So, what I was going to do last episode, that I wasn't able to do, I think I have enough money. I think I have enough money. Um, let's check. Eight gold. Damn it, I forgot! I didn't get gold! <laughs> we have to go, we have to go back to White Run now. Dude, how did I forget? Yeah, it's been like five, it's been like, like, like a couple of days since I recorded the last episode, so I apologize about, about all that. Um, but, <laughs> what is there? There's a dead body there. Oh wait, that's the, uh, that's one of the, uh, the, uh, the Dragonborn DLC people. My eyes. I didn't drink so much. <laughs> All right, uh, let's sell some. I don't claim to looking to protect yourself. Uh, I'm you looking to damage. deal some damage. Hey. Take a look. All right. So what do I sell? Oh my God. She's, I'm really finna sell something that I don't want to sell. Oh my God. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Wait, what do I have on me? Oh, I have garnets. Okay, I was gonna sell the two garnets. I remember that. And I was gonna sell the bell for it, but the, the shop is closed, right? There we go. Now we can freaking go inside. Got something bell for it? Just about everybody can here. I screw us over? Yeah, what you got to sell, man? Odds and ends. How much bell for gold? You are full on gold. So I'm gonna sell you that and sell you that. Now I can actually freely move around and do stuff. Um, uh, I'll just sell you that. Alright, let's get out of here. We have a level up. Um, what should I? I already know what I'm gonna level up, really. But when should I use it? I gotta, I, I gotta use it during a fight. But there are no fights, really. There's no fights coming up yet. So you know, what? we'll go ahead and use it. Cause I'm sure we might have a level up or two. Um, one twenty health, one twenty stamina. We're gonna go ahead and do health again. Um, and we have one point to increase, and we're pretty much a decent way to our uh, uh, level six level up. So one handed, can I? This requires 40, so I do not have that yet, but what about, um, heavy armor? This requires 40 as well. So I gotta work on more heavy armor. You can create steel and weapons, um, at the forge. Should I do that, or should I make, get something like, um, lock picking? Novice locks are much easier to pick. Um, speech, yeah, we have a lot of options. Diamond selling at 10% better. Alright, uh, what about speed? What am I gonna get here? A novice locks are much easier to pick. That's not sneak. <laughs> you are trying to be hard to get on sneaking. I don't know, man. I, I really gotta... I, I really have to, like, like invest in my gate, all this stuff, and really see what I actually want. Um, one-handed right now, we use a lot of maces. Um, power attacks and one-handed weapons cost that much less. Hack and flash. Attacks and maces, you know, 25% of armor. I think right now we'll use, oh wait, what's this, steel weapon attacks are faster? I think right now we will go ahead and use, um, fighting stance. 
Nah, we'll go ahead and use uh, good loading attacks uh, faster. Uh, cool, why not? Like, like, you know what I mean? We get to attack faster, we, you know, we get the benefits of that, and uh, now let's go ahead and fast travel out to the stables, and now we'll head over to Saki finally. Now, Saki has a lot waiting for us, and there's a lot of really cool places to go to, so, uh, inside of Saki. So, um, we're gonna quickly, when we get to Saki, adventure around a little bit, and then from there, figure out where we want, where we want to really head to the really go. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Saki, brother. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Alright, sounds good. Use the challenge, Lydia, come along. We're going to South Street, baby. We're heading on out. Making it on out. I said it. <laughs> Alright, East Imperial Empire Company Warehouse. Most of the shipping of South Street is run by the Imperial Finance East Empire Company. And here we are in Solitude. Again, this is up at the top left of the map. We will be coming here quite often, especially later in, in mid-game. Uh, we're pretty much like still in the early stages of the game. You don't really start getting into late game, I would consider, or mid game until you start seeing all the dwarven ruins. That's kind of like, at least to me, like, okay, we're getting to the later part of the game. But besides that, we are here in Solitude now, and we are um, gonna go ahead and, and, and enter the area. I, I don't think we get stopped by this guard. Oh, hello, guard. How you doing? Yeah, and so Solitude is also the home ground of the Imperials. So again, there's Imperials and then there's Stormcloaks. And then we have the Imperials who are, um, like, outsiders, I guess, of the land. And, um, I think they're, like, Elven. I, don't, I really don't know all the lore. But, you know, they're, they're not, they're not the land these parts. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. <coughs> You betrayed us! Get on with it! His son that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Admiral. Traitor! You're all hostage. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nord. You don't really like his uh, response. They want to speak. On this day, I go to Solengard. And just like that, we have a little girl that watches his uh, uncle get married, I think. Oh, no, did she leave? Yeah, and also, one thing cool, I think, um... You can grab his head, kind of. <laughs> so, um, he was a big guy, and he is a norm. And I don't know if you saw, but from the base of what he said, he is kind of like, you know, Stormcloak-ish, you know what I mean? He was like, you know, um, like, he thought he died in honor and whatever, like, a, like a, a true lord. And so, um, you know, he, he, he did seem like a Stormcloak. And, um, I think they were talking about, um, the Yarrow, uh, what's his name? The, the main guy in the, in a Stormcloak, um, they let him free and let him go, so. Yeah. What do you need? Um, my born, I'm mutual friends Really? Me. You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. My born, I'll kill you. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Sounds good. You see what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. All right. Um, I am ready. So, uh, what thing should I bring? You want me, right? You're asking me? If you actually want to get out alive, I bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Alright, so, um, I'm ready. So, You're he... asking me? Hey! If you actually want to get out alive, I bring whatever you... Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Alright, um, I'll be able to give him, um, all my stuff. Yeah, I want to give him all my stuff. Uh, I want him to have everything. Because all this stuff, um, wait, what's that? 
Alright, so she's gonna go over and she's not gonna kick. So anyway, we have to go to an embassy. It's essentially like a really, really big fancy um type of meeting and stuff. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll Can you guys excuse me? <laughs> oh man, whatever you say, bro. Um no, um as you see I'm a naked man running. And we need to buy some fancy clothes because we can't just walk in looking like a stud, looking like a homeless man once we get into the embassy. So, um embarrassed? No no embarrassed, look at my body, bro. I don't know about you, but I'm confident in my own skin and who I am. I don't know about you, but uh that's the problem that you need to figure out. With uh with, with your own situation, man. Okay, so I say, um, this is the home of a, of a music school, I think. I think it's a music school, if I remember. They have a lot of really cool, uh, missions. You have to find instruments, stuff like that. And I think there's a lot of dangerous, like, shadowing and low-key stuff going on with it. Um, but yeah, so here we are in the Blue Palace. Now, this is, like, one of the biggest, fanciest palace, uh, palaces in all of Skyrim. And now that we're here, I do want to actually go inside. And I want to steal some fancy clothes. So this is the guy right up here, and we can't talk to her, but instead of doing that, we're gonna, we, can't, we have the free will to walk around, move around, pretty much do what we want. So, uh, we're not gonna kill him for too long, but I do want to find some, uh, some clothes, so, we're gonna, we're gonna wear some clothes, some fine clothes. Um, I'm gonna quick save, just cause I don't wanna get screwed. We're gonna take these, and hopefully we can find some nice clothes as well. Um, you can kind of, you can kind of find like Emperor's clothes and stuff too, which is pretty cool. Oh, I don't want to take gold and all that, because I don't think I'll get, I'll get the gold back. I think I want to go upstairs, like I think there's like a king quarters or something. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fancy stuff in here. Fancy stuff. 20 gold? Oh, my. I have to take it. Of course I have to take it. It's 20 gold. I mean, there's a lot of gold to be, to be have it here. Um, okay, so I have boots, so let's put on these boots, these fine boots. They look a little dirty, a little raggedy, a little gross, my stuff. I want to find some nicer clothes. Sorry if I'm just being, you know. I'm gonna wear that, that one looks nicer. Um, I want to see king's robes. Give me some king's robes or something. Ah, here they are! They're called fine clothes, but they look super nice. They look a lot nicer. Let's go ahead and drop these. Um, and do I want a hat? I don't think I want a hat. I think I'm good with the king's clothes, or the, the fine clothes and, and the boots. So now, we are going to go ahead and leave, um, what's it called, a solitude. And I think we are ready to go ahead and take, uh, you know, what we, what, we, what we can with this. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, again, so this is kind of like a sneaking mission. We gotta, you know, we, got, we have to retrieve re some information and figure out what's going on in here. Um, and of course, we're doing this for Delphine, I think, I believe, and the Blades. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff that we gotta do. But we are gonna go ahead and. Can we exit Solitude? It's my fast Solitude. I just had a Solitude faster. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and make it on out of uh, Solitude. Um, I think we have to go meet at the, at the horse stable that are right outside of Solitude, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into, uh, that, that mission and all that, but I'm also glad that we did get the Hornet Wizard and Wind Color out the way so we can learn the last word of who showed up. And, um, you know, giving that allows us to have a really, really strong, um, uh, shot at first. But, we shall go ahead and, and, and get to it and see. And I also didn't want to forget about that I had the, the Hornet Wizard and Wind Color as well. I, I really didn't want to forget that because, you know, that might, that might screw us over later on, but, but you never really know, so. Um, here we are, countless farm. Um, I like to come here and steal the horse. What, what is this? Talk to Gaiman if you want a horse. Or Catla if you're looking for work. I can't help it. I hate it. Everyone feels sorry for me, so they don't treat me too bad, but... Sorry for what? Since my parents were in the Legion, there was an ambush. We I have... To see me if I could make myself useful. Take care of the animals, run errands, that kind of thing. I guess it could be worse, but I'm sick of sleeping outside with the horses. I want a real home. We are gonna go adopt this child place. Have you given Melbourne the beer you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, I have. Any cats? Good. 
I have your invitation to the party. By the way, don't rush me on my window. Don't rush me on my window. I'm living in Arizona. I'm taking 110 of the room, but I'm indoors with the AC. Why no window right now? I need to look at it. I need to do laundry. I just got this random thing. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Okay, um, apparel. I do not want to wear the party clothes. Do I have to wear the party clothes? Who do I talk to? You can't go to a party. Are you for real? No, I can't go to the party. I don't want these stupid party clothes. I thought I could do my own clothes. You should ask for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Yes, I am ready. Don't worry. It just make sure you get back out of there alive. So, if he takes all my stuff, stuff, so what I have to yeah. give him is all the stuff that I want to carry on me. And I give her all my stuff, too. So, all the stuff that I picked up after I gave Melbourne my, my items, I can receive back from her later on. Uh, but besides that, um, everything that I gave to him is going to be in a box in the party. So, here we are. Fellow latecomer dwelling in this little soiree. And arriving here we go. Salute you, sir. My yeah. lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I you didn't come in carriage, man? Off in the day before That's the like going to a billionaire party and then, and then just being like, yeah, I just, I just eat it here. It's like, no, you drive that, that Lamborghini home and you drive it drunk. Hello? Your invitation it's not to you. Here you go, show invitation. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped on me. Alright, sweet. Me, that guy's like, did he tell me? He's like, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger on me. Welcome. I am Wynn. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellen Wynn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. How do I get out of this are? party? My <laughs> name is Amor Jeff Face. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. And nothing Please, else. tell me more about it. Why is that come moving? Why is it to this? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Ravelin or whatever your name is. What, what is, is it, Malbourne? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the of Arinthia course. Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. <laughs> yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. No, it's perfectly fine, madam. Don't worry, Elwyn. Elwyn, when you can go ahead and go the party. I'm here. Get it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. All right. Here we go. And here we are. Um, real quick. Um, we'll go ahead and actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, besides that, we are we're in the party. And so, you know, we have some time and stuff to mess around and, and do whatever we want before we have to get serious and get information. Besides that, guys, I'm going to face. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Um, go watch, uh, you know, the main channel. Watch everything else in the series. There's a playlist linked down in the description in case you missed last episode or any episode or, you know, the future episode in case you're watching this, you know, later on. Um, yeah, go to the Twitch channel, the Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, comment, subscribe, like, and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm OJ Fakes. I want to welcome you back to another episode of Skyrim. This episode today, we are at the um, embassy, and um, now we have to find a distraction to go ahead and allow him to be able to sneak to the back or whatever. Blah, 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 all that stuff. We got a minute, 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 minute. And uh, yeah, so there's multiple things you can do. There's multiple conversations you can have with people. And I'm sure there's a video on YouTube that explains all of them, but I'm simply just going to do the simplest one. What does a fellow need to um, do to get a drink around? Uh, yeah, you look thirsty. My friend, you are... And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. No one when must have told him to cut me off, that frigid bitch. This is like one of the only times I've ever seen I suppose. All right, um... What did you My oh, friend, hello. you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst hmm. that cannot be slaked. What does a fellow need to do to get a... My oh my god. god. Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. You must be new around here. Bad manners. Bad manners to, bad manners to ask such a direct question at one of Ellen Wynn's little soirees. But I have nothing to hide. 
And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor. Like it or not. Ah! Because he's a man that just came for the chat. I need another drink. What can I get for you? Ah, uh, I like a drink. Here you go, sir. Is there anything else I can get for you? Ah, uh, I got, I got some brandy, bro. I got some brandy. Need to do I got ah, you a drink. The one generous soul. Hey! Look at that guy. Look at pennies and licks, fiddle. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not. This guy's just a freaking alcoholic. Um, actually, there is something you can do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on. Uh, I need you to call the scene down one time to Is nine. that all? My <laughs> <laughs> He's like, is that it? Come on, I'm drunk. I'm having a good time. Scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. <laughs> Stand back and behold my handiwork. There we go. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively. Ah, nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. <laughs> Although, most people are already <laughs> in their bed. But again, All right. I speak figuratively, of course. Hey, my boy. Go. Get shut up. Come on. Get your hands off me. I'll be as cute. Ah, we keep going. Come on, my boy. Get in the fucking bed. I feel the shock you with my party, but she's your gear, search for information about the dragons returning. Where's my gear at, man? Oh, I, I see, it's, it's a marker on the other one. Hello, my boy. So far, so good. Let's yes. hope nobody saw us slip out. I don't think anyone did. You pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. All right. Stay close and let me do any talking, got All it? All right, man. I won't say nothing, though. I'm not a disgraceful guy at the kitchen, though. I mean, besides that. You know, not, no, no problems for me, sir. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchen? In the kitchen? You know this is against the rules. Yeah, we're gonna get killed, bad the body? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. <laughs> Perhaps I should ask the Moon sugar is like a drug. Cause uh, that's what, that's what they were fine skooma. Like they were fine down in the next skooma. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Alright. Uh, we are going to hold on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Alright, so I want to make sure that if I grab that in front of him, because sometimes it seems really weird. Um, if you grab things in front of people, like even if they're on your side, like you can somehow get like a uh you know, a fine or whatever. Um, I cannot wait, I didn't not even move my okay, quest items. Oh, okay. While they're in the quest. Alright, man. I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and quick save real quick. Alright, man. Alright, sounds good. I need to lock the door behind you. Alright, let me. I'm gonna try. Control might notice something. Good luck. You see those You're on your own. Never should have. Where they went. What? How did they see me, guys? Do I need to bring some stealthy stuff with me or what? Yo, you got one, bro. That's not cool. How do you get on my teeth for that? And then you got one. You have to hide. Oh, dude, come on. I didn't mean to take this approach, but hey, you gave me no choice. Yes. Can you get this in a sushi bath? Let me power attack you. What the heck? Oh, you yeah, haven't seen like a double power attack song before. Alright, uh, well, um. I'm gonna take all your clothes and everything on you because yeah, um, this is what's 410. Um, the thumb will do, so it looks kinda cool. That's whatever, I'm gonna take this so again. Um, Amethyst. It's not the, it's not the mace that I have. Um, hold up. I think he has a steel mace. Um, what does my weapon do? What does my weapon do? Mine does 16 already. So, I, I'm gonna take a steel mace. Um, I'm gonna take... Alright. And that's, that's, that's all that's all these guys got. Did, did anyone even have a key by chance? Did you guys notice any, any keys in here? Huh? No keys in here. So it's wardrobe, there's some fine clothes. 
Alright, and then... Committing a lot of murders. Gotta take these potions. I wanna know where that goes to. There's a key required. We can't pick the lock, so there's a key required. Who's attacking me? Hello? I'm all like super sneaky and stuff. Oh, uh, vigorous potions and ultimate potions. Let's go ahead and take all this. I believe that there is a collectible in, in this area that um, you can only collect one time. And so I want to make sure that if, that if that's true that we don't, um, we don't miss it. Uh, it's really hard to mix it with super bright and shiny. But, alright. So, um, you can tap that to walk. I think there's a guy in here. Alright. Let's go ahead and unready the bow. Is it in here? I feel like there is something in here. I feel like, um, there's like this mysterious, uh, gem, and I feel like there's one in this, in this, uh, this area. Is that another person? No, there's some flowers and stuff there. Alright. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Detect it? Someone's sleeping. I'm a quick save. Gold, okay. Open a scam. Okay, I don't want to do that quite yet. Someone's downstairs sleeping there. I believe. Nope, not this way. This way! Ah! Kind of a big area. Or not a big area, really, but... Someone might be this way? Alright. Hello? I heard someone sleeping, I swear, I'm not going crazy. Um, I'm gonna guess that this goes to Skyrim as well, yep. Um, let's go ahead, I think we're better off taking the upstairs route. I really, really, oh, wait, there's this area here. Take gold. Is there a key here? There has to be a key. There's no, nothing, huh? There's no key, there's nothing hanging anywhere? That's strange. Nothing at all. Is my FOV? I'm gonna put my F what the heck? Uh, FOV one one hundred. All right. Is there anything up here? Any keys? Nothing. No. Dude, where could the keys be? I want to go into that room. I need a key there. I guess I can continue this way. I haven't. I didn't come over here. Yeah, I didn't. All right. Um. Anything else? There's some barrels. There's gonna have something in it, but there's nothing there. Got more robes? 410? Don't mind if I do. Gold? Okay. I think someone had the key on them. Did I already take the key? There's no way I took the key. No. Uh, I really wanna go in there. Because I, I'm, I'm like curious now. Am I missing out on something? Or... Got more gloves? Nothing? Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. I'm spending way too much time down here. I don't need to spend this much time. I, I really want to know where, this key went, where the key went. I think there's a key. Well, somebody tell me there's a key. And I always know to test my gut instinct. Well, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Let's go upstairs. It should be up here and to the left, the exit. Yes, it is. And... I think I'm gonna... I'm not detected. There's no one detected. Alright. I'm not 
I'm not too sure why I'm deciding to take this route of doing some archery. But, you know what? There we go.
wardrobe. I'm a little bit of arcade. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that. I'm not too sure what that was again. I'm going to reread it. Um, and then we're going to search this chest and all this stuff for the goodies. Frontier Conquest. Oh, we got a, um, another potion. Alright, this is the room we were just in. Find clothes. More stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want all that right now. Alright, cupboard. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Now, we have a key to the interrogation chamber, but I haven't found a key to the uh, to any other buildings or rooms or anything. Because I do want to go back to that other area and see if there's a way I can get in, but it looks like there's not. It looks unfortunate. Oh well, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the interrogation chamber. But yeah, this house actually is a lot like that house. Sorry, wrong way. Jeez! Getting a little confused and confused about where I'm going. Oh wait, I haven't gotten here. Oh shoot. Ah, uh, it's worth it. Okay. It, it's at about, like, a 20 degree angle. I'm gonna go a little more. A little more. Oh, that was almost it! Woo! Alright, take, um, we're gonna take the dagger. We're gonna take the circlet. We're gonna take both. Gold and emerald, that's like the best you can get besides gold and diamond. Alright, wow, cool. We got a lot of cool stuff. Um, we got some more extreme potions. All this stuff I really don't need, like stuff that are this good, but wow. Like so far yet in the game. I, I wonder if like, it expects me to be like at a higher level or something. Who knows? I don't know. But what I do know is that we're gonna come down here. And this is to the interrogation chamber. Is there anything on these stairs? Ooh, there is a chest. Hello, hidden! And, uh... Alright, let's grab the spirit. We're gonna go into the dungeon. Uh... Alright, we're, we're gonna click save. Uh-oh. Yo, hold on. Yeah. I think there's someone that you can protect. I'm not too sure though. Uh oh. Boom, you're dead. Wait, hello? How did I come into this exit? Not the other exit. That's crazy. Alright, yeah! Uh, oh wait, what's over here? What is this other exit? Wait, unlocked. Is this to the other building? Wait, what building is this? Where is this? Was that two entrances? Oh, there is two entrances, but what building is this? Was this the other building I was in? Oh, this is the other side! Oh, okay. Yeah, so same building that was the other side. Wow, I was like, I was really like, what the hell? Okay, I can't continue without that, that, that little fence thing. I tried. I did what I could. Bell, sack of flour. There's still one point of health. Salt. Look at all this stuff. Salt, flour? I can make like an apple pie. Alright, what is this? We got such a chest for the egg bun. Alright, who is this? Who are these guys? Is there anything in here? No? We got the shackles. I think I can free the guy. Wait, did the guy have a, have a key on him? Did I search his body? No, I did not, clearly. Uh, oh, and we got an elven mace. And that is better. Yeah. Hello, bro. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Uh, uh I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards, get rid I've of seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. Must lead somewhere. Alright. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old yeah, guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who. Hey, I'm not like much that, to go hey. on. I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about huh. it. That's it? Now, let's get out of here. Alright, um... 
Let's get out of here. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, I messed up. I heard him, look, there's not one up there, not one's up there. Um, hold up, shots. Can we free not one? Uh, get away, not one. Get away, not one. Not one, get away. You're really important to me. I you can't have not one back. Alright. So, interrogation chamber, trap door key. Alright, those guys have the keys to everything. Not one, where are you? Wait, who the hell is that? Is that not one? Not one, where you at, bro? Is that mad one I just left over here? Yeah, I didn't set you free! I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Mad one! Now Let's the get Falmor out of will here. be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Alright, uh, yeah, that's cool, bro. If you, you stick by me, you're safe. Alright. Um, I gotta make sure I leave this other guy. Oh my god, did we save him? I don't know if we could save him or not, but, you know, we made it happen. Alright, um, that's Let's go ahead and equip these, uh, these maces. Because actually these are better than, than this, yes. So we'll go ahead and drop this, drop that. I think we got a steel mace, yes, we'll drop that. Steel daggers, iron dagger, we have a bow, oven dagger. Um, yeah, okay. Everything looks good to me. Alright, man, here we are! Look at this! Um, let's go ahead and head on out, but first... Uh, which side did I come from? I think from this side. Alright, let's go ahead and go through it. Um, we're gonna quick save because if I remember correctly. Uh, I just remember this being here. I just remember this being here. I'm hoping that I can kill him faster, faster than. Uh, three? Uh, hold up, come on. No, yes, I got him, good! Oh my god! I had that so, such a hard time, like, getting him in the past, and, dude, like, oh my, because the thing is, like, he can kill these guys, I, I believe, when they exit. Did they already exit? Oh, look, yeah, not one, you good? Now the Falmor will be hunting me for the rest hey, of man, my life. Hey, man, it's all good, bro. It's all good if they hunt you the rest of your life. Um, we got black mage rose, we have an iron dagger, and what else? We have unusual soul gem. That's the, one of the unusual soul gems. That's what I was talking about here. Is an item that you might only be able to get one time. Um, and yeah, six coin first. We got 32 gold for that. Alright. Um, where's the other guy at? The other guy, get that, huh? He did that last time, that guy. He's getting the heck out of you. Alright, this way, right? Yeah? This way it is. Alright, to Skyrim. Woo! We made it all now. We, we finessed our way. Now the Falmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. Don't worry about it. Worth Don't worry about that one. Oh my god, look at this. Freedom! You didn't have to help me, so... Thanks. You didn't have to help me, so... Thanks. Uh, I think this guy's a werewolf, by the way. Lydia! How you doing? I missed you, Lydia! Okay, I'm gonna call this guy. Because this guy's standing, he's standing really weird. I think he's a werewolf. But he ain't really gonna me. Where's he going? Where's this guy running off to? What, what is this guy doing? Who is this person now? Why are there so many people? There's been word of some trouble nearby. I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, uh, what are we? Oh, yeah, you're like very, very much up here. Wait, can I flash on a back here from the embassy? Can I go back there? And, like, can I investigate the area? Oh, my God! I have never gone back to the Thalmor Embassy. I didn't know this was possible. Hold on. Um, because the, uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, 
down that video. Alright, cool. I'm gonna see what happens if I walk up. Are they gonna kill me? Are they on sight? They're not on sight me. Yo! Go right on in. The party is already started. <gasps> Wait, what the heck? Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. Oh my god, this is so weird. But she doesn't have a key. Go right on in. What do you have? You don't have a key there. Wait, so last time I exited out of a building, what building is that? Is that over here? Can I like get my way back in? Oh yeah. So I can take stuff from here without stealing, that's kind of interesting. Because I don't think that, like, I'm not hostile anymore, does that make sense? Like, like it's no longer hostile, like, this isn't relevant any. Wait, did I just pick up 70 gold? Is that what that was? 70? Oh my god. Maybe there's something that we can, 659 gold? 54? Oh my god, you are well rewarded. I have to take that. The value was too good to not. Alright, give me more gold. I want more gold. Oh my god, I didn't know you could come back here. I never knew you could come back here. I thought this was a one-time thing. How would you... Take their pet? Alright, so you can see what people have on them by walking up to them. Alright, I'm gonna take the gold. Dude, I feel, I feel like I'm like, I'm like in a trap. I feel like it's a trap. Like, I'm getting tempted here. What is this? That's nothing. That's empty. He's got gold, and what do you have? You ain't got nothing on you. So how do I get back into the embassy? Is there a way? Someone ha has to have a key. That's so interesting. That's crazy. I'm like, in shock. I didn't know I could do that key. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, let's go out this time. I wonder if this building has another entrance. This other building here. I'm really wasting a lot of time, but are you really wasting time in Skyrim? Like, you know? Uh, I don't have the embassy key, but there's gotta be another area around here. Can I jump over this? What's the hurry? There's gotta be a way I can I can jump. Maybe I can about to stop me, or I can use you to jump off your head. Huh? Maybe not. Yeah, actually, maybe yes. I definitely can. Dude, why can't I jump? That's so weird. Like, a collision in this game. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode once I decide to quit uh, messing around here. Got more embassy re entrance. Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Uh, I can I can walk against this wall. And I should be able to jump off the other side. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. So even if I wanted to, I really couldn't. Ah, man. Is it, yeah, there's an invisible wall. Yeah, interesting. And it looks like there's nothing on this side. Like, no entrance, no nothing. It does not be on the ground. On the ground, someone? Is there like a chain or something I can pull a secret? <gasps> no, there's not. I think I might have to give up. Alright, so I'm killing everyone. Why is that person on the camera? Anyways, guys, I don't know. Um, where do we have to go next? Let's check out where we have to go next. Do we have to go all the way back to Riverwood? Um, so let's go there. Let's go to Riverwood. I don't think that there's anything else we need for us to do here. Um, I think that I'm wanting to see. And so we're going to go back to Riverwood, and then we're going to go ahead and end off the episode here, guys. Um, we're now back in our home, or at least this side of town, which is our home, you know, Riverwood, White Run area and all that. So, you know, we're finally here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Um, I'm really enjoying playing this series, man. This, this game is bringing back memories and observing and seeing things that I've never seen before, like the embassy and all that, revisiting. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Morgan Page.
And uh, be sure to comment, subscribe, like, check out the main channel, check out the Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next episode. Peace.